Good morning. My name is Dave. I'm carrying on searching again and again at my local beach. I've come down to see if I can find any more little treasures, anything nice. Who knows? We're going to give it a go. Uh, the weather looks nice. Tide's going out, so that's convenient. I've got a few hours of daylight. I've got Nigel the Knox with me and the sand scoop. So uh, let's see if that's a good combination. Okay, first signal, absolutely banging 19, are the gods going to be nice to me t today? You never know, but it looks like your favourite and mine off the beach, a lead fishing weight, but if it is, that's an odd one isn't it? A little studs on it there, what's that all about? Very, very heavy. Oh well, I'm going to follow this mud line, see if there's anything lodged in here, and go as far as I can that away and we'll see what we see second signal right near the first one a 20 stroke 21 now sometimes that can not be a lead fishing weight but I think unfortunately this time I say unfortunately I still like finding them it is a funny looking one number two it just started raining on me before. It's supposed to be finished with the rain now, but looks a bit threatening over there, doesn't it? Oh well, we'll see how far we get. Next signal, and look, look, it's a surface find. Didn't have to go digging for that. What's that? It's got some markings on it. Doesn't look like it's hole marked. Although, ooh, look at that. That's fancy, isn't it? So I think that's got some age to it. Oh well, that's a bit different. Come on, Nigel, do your best. Let's get some old coins. Next signal, a 14. Now, generally 14. Nothing to get excited about. Not that I've seen. And there it is. You see it? It's round. What is it? Will it wash out of it? Ah! A little bullet end. Look at that. Mm. A little artifact. A little artifact is it? It's coins we're after, Nigel. Coins. But artifacts will do for now. Next signal. And I've located it. Can you see it? first little bit of military stuff I think is that a little bitty bullet tip that's a strange is that like a lead filled one Ooh. could be a quite little old little object mm. onwards to hopefully some better stuff Surface find alert, surface find alert. I was hoping it was a coin. It's none other than my favourite. Lead fishing weights. Surely there's got to be some coins lodged in amongst this lot. We shall see. Next signal here, shallow. Banging me ears off it was. Really loud, piercing sound. 27 stroke 29. And it's just under there. And look. <gasps> look. I'm made up with that. A little bit of World War II history. Anti aircraft shrapnel. Most people don't like finding that. I love it. It polishes up beautifully. Nice. First little bit of history. Well done, Nigel. We'll keep going here in all these little deep gullies. Right, here I am, in the rocks, with my sand scoop and my Nigel, and he's just got me a signal here, 19, and I think I've got something round, I think I've got my first coin, now, now, that kind of looks pretty old, could it be? 
crusty on one side. That's got a feeling of oldness about it. And I think it is an old half penny. Some writing on the outside there. Can't make out a monarch or anything yet. But that is my first old coin. I'll have to clean that up. That side might be a bit naff. I've got an old coin. Well done, Nigel. We shall keep going in case there's any more. Right, I'm back. I found something. 14, very shallow. Wasn't expecting much at all, but um, look. A little bit of whatever that is. Hmm. Some sort of circle on a little bit of metal. Don't think it's anything special, but it's a thing. And Nigel found it for me. I'm going to head back that way now because it's getting a little bit chilly. Searching around these rocks, I'm nearly coming to the end of it, and I got a 17 signal deep in there. Just dug it out, not expecting to find anything of any great value. Look! Look at that! Now that! Wash it off. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Now that is a find, isn't it? Look at that! How many rings on that? Is that a two or a three? Look at that. what an absolute belter of a find. That is a superb find. A little bit more and then I'm back on the sand. There we are. It's coming up like a 21, to be honest with you. I have just got one signal just before, if I can get out of my pocket without doing myself an injury. Here it comes. Hang on. And it's a proper looking fishing weight. Look at that, proper like, it's like a missile isn't it? What an absolute beaut. Anyway, this one's a 21, I thought it was similar again, but i um, struggling to find it, and I found it there. I've actually got my first coin, and it's a proper one. How is that? Now that's not a bad little start, is it? An old pound. And there she is. Good old Queen Elizabeth. Young Queen Elizabeth. The wind's died down beautifully now. Look at it, it's gorgeous. I had a, another signal before. Let me sack on one of those nasty looking things. I'll put that safely in my bag. I've got another signal here, a 19. And I think I can see it. 19 on the beach is. Um, can I see it? Or can I not? Is that it? Is that it? Do you know what? Get the pinpointed out because I thought I could see it just before. Right. Oh, it's still in there, and I have at long last located it. And it is my number three of the dig a little torpedo lead fishing weight. There it is in the sunlight. A glorious looking, looking scene. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the sand now. Sort of, sort of, that away. And see what we can find. Never been to that bit yet. Okay, this is where I've reached. I'm going through here, I'm getting not a lot of anything at all. And I got a 21 signal here, relatively shallow. It's in a rocky bit, so something can get lodged. And look, look. What have we got? I think I've got my first old. And it's crusty. It's crusty. What have we got? I think it's safe to say I have myself an old penny. But I'm going to have to clean that up at home. It's really crusty. Yeah, surely that's an old penny. Want to clean up later? That is a find. 
so I shall carry on because there could be more ah, love it I'll keep going for some more I'll tell you what you can tell what's on the cliffs just behind us here look at this how's that for a hat trick would you believe it hat trick of golf balls nice Nice little interlude there by the, by the birds. Those rocks weren't there, but just along there is where I found my first ever old penny. And believe it or not, I was a teenager at the time. I had like one of them um, small detectors you get. Um, 30 quid it was. And I got my first old penny there. And I've got another signal here, just near to it. How ironic. A number 21 signal. And I think, I think we could have something old again. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look, look, look. Wash it off. Again, that feels pretty caked on. But it is without doubt an old penny. My second bit of history from here. Now, what can we make out on that? Not a lot, I don't think, until we burn all of that off. But, um, second one, second one of the dig, can't be bad and right by word I found my first one 40 years ago, <gasps> nostalgia. This is a little stop press moment, um, I wanted to do a little bit of a, an update video on um, the state of the two pennies in particular that you've seen me just been discovering on the beach, um, they were in quite a bit of a state and I've got them into a state of partial uh, cleanliness now. And I want to show you what I found because it's um, it's quite interesting to say the least. I'm finding it fascinating. I want to see if you agree. Um, so I'm going to spin you around in a minute and we'll, we'll take a look at what I found and I'll talk you through it. Right, here we are. These are the three coins in the second part of the video that you saw me discovering. And uh, they had a bit of a black crustace crustacean on them. And um, I've been sort of burning it off and cleaning it off and scrubbing it off. And I'll come on to how I do some of that when I start doing some coin cleaning videos in a while. But um, I found it quite intriguing because you saw me waxing lyrical and getting all nostalgic in the video about um, it's it's in the location of where I found my first ever penny when I first got into metal detecting as a teenager 40 years ago, believe it or not. Anyway, and then I sort of come back to the hobby at later life just in recent times. But um, it's quite funny that I found two pennies near to where I found my first penny on the beach. And I thought, well, let's clean them up and take a good close look at them. Now, they, strangely enough, both of them are um, King George V pennies. So they're the same monarch. Nothing too special there. But when you actually zoom in a little bit closer... Let me get this to the right angle... Where are, we? Where are we? It's upside down. There we are. Now, if you look closely there, can you see that? You might be able to see it better through there. The two, the two dates, and this is quite uh, a coincidence, and leads me to suspect that I might have got a two-coin spill, because both of them are 1917 pennies. So that's quite, um, quite interesting in itself, but um, nothing incredibly remarkable. But it led me to sort of um, think, well, I remember that it was a King George V penny that I found 40 years ago in that near location. And strangely enough, I still own that coin. I've never cleaned it up because I never knew what to do with it at the time. And, you know, it's obviously it's quite a special coin for me, this. And I think I will leave it in its original condition. So I got it out and I compared it to what I found here and lo and behold look at the date can you actually believe that 1917 so I'm, I'm going to claim a metal detecting first here unless of course you know differently or you've got similar stories and it's it's one of those it sent a shudder down my spine moments because I might have found a three coin spill all from the same person lost at the same time but believe it or not, I found them 40 years apart. Is that, or is it not, 
incredible as a possibility. Well, it's messing around with my head. Well, what can I say? On that bombshell, back to the video. Next signal, a 1920 in there. And it's this. I thought I saw it could be a lead fishing weight. Next signal, a banging 21 in the rocks. Can always be a coin. Or it can always be the good old lead fishing weight. Yet another. Next signal. Now, this is a surprise one. Because this was a 15 stroke 16. So I was expecting, what, 20p at the most? But look, what's this? What have we got? What have we got? Is it another old one? I think it could be, you know. Let's get it in the sunshine. Can't see anything on there. What have we got? Can we see Britannia? Can't see a lot. Let's let's wash it off. I'm snivelling, it's that cold. I'm sure that's gotta be an old one. Let's have another look. Let's take another look. Can you see anything there? It's quite thin. It's somewhat, yeah, there's some letter on the other side. Can you see that? I can think. Oh, is that Queen Victoria? Is that Queen Victoria's face? She's facing left. I think it is, you know. Oh, the Vicky Halfpenny. Oh, look. Unmistakable Britannia. Yes, now that is a super little find. Vicky Halfpenny. And that looks quite nice under there. Oh, yes. By carrying on, searching is what I'm going to be doing. Well, that's the end of it for today. Um, I think I've done quite well there. I'm pleased with Nigel and his performance there. He's found me a few coins, and we've got a, a fair few old ones there. Um, what do we get? An old pound... Um, two old pennies yet to be identified, a bit crusty. We'll have fun cleaning those off. Um, but uh, that Queen Victoria half penny, I love finding Queen Victoria pennies and half pennies. Anything Queen Victoria, I'm happy. And with my U boat um, hat on, it's quite fitting that I found a few of those torpedo uh, lead fishing weights. So, um, all in all, that was a good, good, fun uh, day out at the beach. So, until next time. This is Dave, signing off. I'll see you.